In 2016, Ibibio won a grant from Wildlife Acoustics out of 128 applicants from all continents across the globe. Wildlife Acoustics donated two bioacoustics recording devices named SongMeter 4 and software to analyze the data named SongScope. The bioacoustics project has two primary goals. First, to use audio recordings to graphically map out species activity levels both throughout the day and over the course of an entire year. And second, to establish a bank of sounds that can be used for educational purposes, producing documentaries, and for producing ebooks. We began this process at our research institute named Ipebiu Becher Reserve, located in the Atlantic Forest in the state of São Paulo. But along the way, many interesting discoveries, as well as unforeseen uses for the data emerged. Ipebiu managed to capture the rare vocalization of a frog named Leptodactylus flavopictus and submitted our data to the Unicampi University Sound Database, who have partnered with us to study the ethology of this species over a year-long period. Furthermore, we partnered with Free Wildlife Brazil Celine, a bird release centre also located on the Becher Reserve, who uses our data to ascertain what birds occur naturally in the area, their distribution and their activity patterns, which provides crucial information on best practices for releasing birds. With the support of the volunteer program, Ipebio began to develop recognizers. Recognizers are basically samples of specific animal vocalizations which you feed into the software so it can automatically detect future calls of the same species. This is known as machine learning. However, this is really time-consuming work as it often takes a large sample size of manually annotated vocalizations to create a good recognizer which means volunteers have to sift through hundreds of hours of recordings to get a good recognizer. My day-to-day -day included hiking up and collecting the different audio files from the forest, annotating those, fo those audio files, meaning I would find specific species and vocalizations and try to identify them, work with a field biologist to identify new sounds and new vocalizations, and also teach a computer how to identify sounds via the wavelengths themselves. In 2018, Ipebio learned of advancements in wildlife acoustics technology, namely the Kaleidoscope software, and we reached out to see if wildlife acoustics were interested in extending their hand once again to support us in our projects, in a continued partnership. We received Kaleidoscope in May of 2018, and the benefits of the software are apparent immediately. The most critical was the process of creating annotations. Remember the time-consuming process of manually annotating vocalizations for recognizers I mentioned? Well, Kaleidoscope eliminated this. So having recently worked with both Songscope software and Kaleidoscope, I am very grateful for having the opportunity to work with Kaleidoscope. Clustering technology was featured, which allowed the software to automatically identify similar calls and group them together, known as clustering. The new clustering technology allows us to analyze many more vocalizations way more quickly um, without having to manually annotate every vocal recording. We would like to thank Wildlife Acoustics for its continued support in not only donating the original recorder and software, but for also updating us along the way. Thank you once again.